Farming is free. It doesn't cost anything to build a farming plot, and the seeds themselves don't actually... They're not... As long as you have one seed, you'll be able to farm essentially infinite amounts of that crop. So when you're just producing, when you need food or resources, farming is the cheapest thing that you can do because it costs you nothing. Now, if you upgrade to higher level farms, those will cost resources, such as if you get an irrigated farm. Uh, but early game, one of the best ways to gather resources, even if it's just to sell to other colonies, is to farm because it will cost you nothing, allowing you to put resources towards other things. On the topic of the different types of farms, once you're ready to upgrade your normal, cheap, free, uh, but very bountiful standard farms into irrigated farms, there's a couple important things to know about that. The first one is it will maximize the efficiency of the farm. So if you put your farm on a patch of land that's a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of green, and it's at 75% efficiency, upgrading it to a, a irrigated farm will increase its efficiency to 100%, allowing it to farm faster and more. It will also protect it and allow it to farm during heat waves, which is very important, because normally heat waves will cause the crops to die and your standard farms will be unusable. They won't produce crops during this time, only irrigated farms and greenhouses. But in this case, greenhouses are quite expensive. They need energy. Irrigated farms simply need water and you will have a farm that will continually produce fruit and food through the heat wave. 